I had some, I had a really hard time there. I was, I married an Afghan, right? And then I actually annulled an Afghan. And so everybody always wanted to ask me about your husband, mm -hmm. your husband, Sam, the Afghan warlord sort of guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. I didn't want to answer these questions, right? I didn't want to drag my personal stories in it. And so, but I'd have to, you know, say, okay, so I know this is going to be my first question because it mm -hmm. always was. Mm -hmm. I know everybody's going to want to know this question. So let me just lay this one out there. And I think being more transparent, mm -hmm. if, you, if, you, if there are really, if there are things that people really want to ask you, they're going to ask you. If there's been something written in the paper about you, they want to know. Mm -hmm. That's the first. So, I I've always I've always thought being transparent, letting yourself be vulnerable, letting them see that you know, mm -hmm. trying to hold. People can always tell you if you're holding back, but if people don't want you to hold back. Mm -hmm. You're up on stage, you know. I mean, obviously, I I don't drag it all in, mm -hmm. but if there's particular things that have been say controversial mm -hmm. you're better off just addressing it you know it's easier and people people don't aren't as mean mm -hmm. as you think they are and most of them don't care mm -hmm. and they like the vulnerability it makes you feel human they can relate to you mm -hmm. if you are stoic they can't relate I mean mm -hmm. Uh, we all have had our ups and downs. It just happens to be maybe yours has been in the past.